I'm in my X5 twin turbo V8 BMW. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Let's go for a cruise. Huh? Engine hot, drive moderately. God engine temperature is high. Drive moderately to cool the engine. If temperature increases again, have the system checked by your BMW set. This thing's been sitting here for two days. Hmm. That's no bueno. All right, with that scripted drama aside, uh, has that happened to you? And now if you sit here and let it idle for a little bit, it goes away. Um, I'm gonna show you what's going on here. All right, so while the old ZR13 from Hazard Fart boots up here, clearly my engine was not hot. This thing has been sitting here for days. Yeah, and so there's no way that the engine can be hot. So first thing that comes to mind here is, well, I've got, you know, a coolant sensor problem. There are two of them on this particular engine, the N63, but uh, I don't think that is the issue because I've replaced them both very recently. So now that we got the, uh, the trusty Zurich here fired up, let's go and uh, let's look for some uh, DTCs, AKA fault codes. Actually, we're right here, no emission related DTCs. So this is telling me that there is no fault codes at all with this car, although clearly we saw something as a mess. Uh, let's click on the old LD for live data. Let's look at the coolant temperature and see if it's, uh, let's just see if it's 500 degrees or something. Okay, ECT is 117 degrees, which is not hot. Uh, I believe this has maybe a 180 I don't know, 180, 185 degree thermostat. Uh, we're well below that, but of course I've just turned it on. So that's not the problem either. So what I wanna show you here is that BMWs, uh, I don't know at what year this started, they have like another level of code scanning, another level of computer wizardry and electricery that you can go to and see what is going on with your engine. Because uh, if you just get a, a cheapo scanner, uh, and I'm not saying the Zurich ZR13 is the best one ever, but a cheapo scanner will not show you what's going on here. Go to S for system menu. Well, let's go to OEM Enhanced. Enhance. 2013 BMW blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's it. Okay, turn the engine off and turn back on. Now what this does is it uh, renegotiates, and here's, we've got our error back. Um, this renegotiates communication with the computer. Now it's in a, a heightened uh, code reading mode. And you can see here clearly that it's showing turbocharger, coolant pump, activation line, electrically, yada, 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 yada. Code 2EA9. It's the only code in here. Uh, and that is going to indicate Unless you have some massive wiring problem, it's going to indicate that that little bitty um, turbo cooling pump that runs after you turn the car off has died. And on this particular car, I've already checked it. And indeed, when you turn the car off, uh, the pump does not work anymore, which is sad because I just replaced it about three months ago. This is not uncommon on this on this engine on these cars. Uh, I had replaced it with a a Gates, <coughs> and I. And it's got a lifetime warranty from Rock Auto. I'm not going to mess with it. I ordered the, I believe it's the Pureberg, the BMW OEM pump from FCP Euro. And I'm going to go that route. So this maybe will help you figure out what's going on with your car when it doesn't show codes. Uh, if you can get into the enhanced um, troubleshooting module with, uh, you know, a code reader like this. And I don't know what all has it, but the, the reason I bought the ZR13 was because it will read and clear ABS faults and airbag faults, uh, you know, safety restraint system. Um, I actually didn't know it had this feature on it. And I'm glad it does because it helps me keep my sanity working on an E70 BMW.